Okay, welcome to section two of learning aim B. Uh, this one is named task list, so we can keep the title there. As I mentioned early on, do not delete any of the red for your mock here if you're using my template. Um, you can just wait, answer straight after this section here. Um, some of you may have forgotten and you might be thinking, why am I keeping the red after I've answered it? It's so that basically when you do do your real um, uh, coursework, you remember what the questions were in the first place um, and you have something to look back to. You can use this as a revision guide, uh, as a means to study and prep for the real thing. If you just have the answers in there, um, the answers are great and your teacher can obviously give you feedback on that, but you'll forget what you were asked in the first place. So um, without any further ado, let's have a look at this. So task list, um, there's a number of things to answer um, and it's pretty straightforward. I mean, some of you may be able to just pause it here and just get cracking. Uh, some of you, if you have the template, you may not even you know, look at, listen to this uh, video. Uh, you, know, you might be able to just read it and, and then go through it. Uh, but I'm gonna go through it anyway for those who need the assistance if you do get stuck. So first one, you wanna make a list of things that you have to do. Now, I know in the previous video I said never use bullet points. There's, there's an exception if it is actually a task that requires you to list things out. And this is the one exception in this section here. So, but even then, before you do any kind of list, there's always going to be written uh, a sort of a sentence or an introductory sentence beforehand and uh, maybe some kind of explanation. So it's, it's not as simple as just to give me a couple of words and that's it, you're done. Uh, remember, you're, this is a GCSE, you need to aim for those high marks and they're not just going to give that away, you have to earn it. So, you're going to make a list of things that you have to do. Now, this is a list of things that you're going to do from start to end, yeah, to the point you're making your actual designs. So you need to think, how would you find out what the manager of the medical practice wants from you? Yeah, imagine if this is a real scenario and the manager said, look, I want you to make something, a new user interface for my medical practice. It's getting too busy at my reception. People are waiting and, you know, it's bad for business, basically. Even though it's a doctor's surgery, it's still a, it's still a business, you know. They, they have to worry about keeping customers happy. And if they're waiting for too long, the people are going to say, look, you know what, the queues are massive here. I want, I want, I'm going to change my doctor's practice. I'm going to go somewhere else. You know, I don't want to waste 15, 20 minutes just to make an appointment. So, um, you know, they basically said they want you to do this to alleviate that, to, to reduce the queue so that people, some of the people can go and, and use this software, this user interface on the side, and others can use the reception. So it's half and half. So how can you get that information as, you know, as to what it is that he or she wants from you? What would you have to do first to get these answers? Just think about it. Okay. Hopefully you've had a, a moment to think. And some of you will have come to the conclusion that an interview is a perfect way. You know, how else can you find out what a person wants from you? You can't read their minds, right? So the simplest solution is to basically interview them, right? And that could be over the phone. Uh, it could be a survey. It could be something that you send to them as an email and give you all the answers. The point is you need to actually question them. Now, obviously, this is a make-belief scenario. There isn't a person that you're actually going, and, going to go and interview. But there is an interview process that you have to show. So, after the interview, then you need to, you know, from that interview, then, you know, you're going to find out these things here. Uh, so, let's continue. Uh, then you would want to know what house style, yeah, so you need to know what house style they have. Um, this means finding out the colour schemes, uh, what font styles they want, what sizes they want, images or logos, icons. Is there anything they want in there? That's a non-negotiable they have to have in there. Again, if you don't ask, you don't know. Then we would need to, and uh, 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 you won't, you, let me say that again, you would need a mood board with all the above in them. Now we need to use these themes and ideas to create initial storyboards for each screen of the user, uh, user interface, make improvements and then develop the interface. Then the next step would be to get feedback from the users and help identify any problems and make final improvements. Guess what guys, you could turn all of this into a nice list of tasks, couldn't you? Right? So you need to say, I need to find out information. First step is to interview. After I got the interview, then I need to find out in the interview this, this, and this. Then I need to make a mood board. That's another step. Then I need to um, use them to create initial storyboards. That's another step. So guess I guess what I'm trying to say, boys and girls, is that this here should help you make you make uh, help you make a task list. Okay? But remember. Even this list should be in sentences. You need to explain, okay, this is step one, step two, step three, step four, okay? So I'm going to let you have a look at that. 
and you can get started after this call on here uh, and, give, and, and provide a list. And once you've done that, use the information above, sorry, let me just put that up there, use the information above to help you create a list, this tells you there as well, for higher marks you must explain each point. What are you uh, saying you're going to do? How are you going to do it? Why are you going to do it? Remember, the more specific your answers are, the higher your marks will be. Let me just stop for a second and remind you, boys and girls, that this is the one element in this course that you have control over and you have more time on. This here is worth 30% of your grades. When you start learning AIM uh, C, um, then you will have done uh, so component one. Yeah, so the entire component one is worth 30%. Let that sink in for a second, okay? So this is just a second part of component one. Then we have a third part, learning game C. Then we're going to have component two, and that's got two or three sections as well. And that's another 30%. So your coursework, even though we're breaking it down, there's two sections, component one component two. It's worth 60%. That's a huge chunk. And you have more time on that. Your component three, which is an exam paper, an hour and a half, that is all down to your performance on one one day, one event. You know, it's all down to how well you revise beforehand, how you feel on the day, and you get the one shot, that's it. So it's it's a wise move to do this properly because you can do. And, you know, once you provide something for your teacher to look at, then he or she can tell you what you need to do further to push those grades up and hit those higher, higher uh, marks. So... Have a look through this, give that a go. This is simply a power graph with the list explaining what you're going to do. And you know what, boys and girls, there's nothing wrong. You're working on a computer here, right? If it was on paper, then of course, if you make a list, you got to you have to get that order right. But on the computer, you get the order wrong, you can just move it up a little bit. You can cut and paste and move it to the right order. Just think about all the things you need to do to the point you're actually making the design. So this is a list of things you need to do from start to end.